Hi there! Today I'm going to show you how to use our table feature to create cross-functional flowcharts. To do this, just go to the table feature icon, select the number of rows and columns that you need, but before you click, hit the control key first. This will help create a table that you can use for cross-functional flowcharts. Now let's add some text to it. Give your table a title, for example. Then I'll name my groups and categories. When you're done, it should look like this. Now, let's talk about resizing your title rows. You see this little orange diamond here? You can use it to resize your entire header row. If you want to resize the height of just one cell, drag the orange diamond like this. Or you can resize the whole row by hitting Control, grabbing the orange diamond, and then dragging. Once you release the mouse, the size will change for all cells in the swim lane. This also works for the columns, just like this. Now we can start with our cross-functional flowchart. Using the flowchart shape library, select the process shape to add it to our table. Once you have the right position for your shape, hit the control key to adapt the size of the shape. Hitting control will keep the shape centered. Now let's add a decision shape to the flowchart. We can add it so that the new shape connects automatically to the first one, including the connector. So select the new decision shape and drag it over to the process shape form from before. You'll notice that light blue arrows appear. Choose the blue arrow you want to add the new shape to. A bright blue arrow should now appear. Release the mouse button and there it is the new shape with a connector. You'll see that the new shape isn't directly in the cell, but that's okay. You can just drag it to where it needs to be. Again, hit control while dragging the shape and it'll help it keep centered while moving and resizing. Now, using the same method, you can keep adding shapes to the flowchart. And this is how you can use our table feature for cross-functional flowcharts. Thank you so much for watching.